Skits are powerful tools. Jesus packaged heavenly truth in parables. These skits have the same goal. They are earthly stories with a heavenly meaning. To help unlock the power of storytelling, we're taking you on a tour of the word skits. S-K-I-T-S. Script ad lib. We've taken the fear of messing up the lines out of drama. We suggest that you memorize the scene content, not the lines. Drama comes alive when your actors add their own twist on the lines based on their characters. Simply remember the content of the scene and a few key lines. Then make the rest up as you go. This removes the pressure of memorizing your lines. Post a skit outline at the entrances to help actors remember the order of the scenes and key lines. Keep rehearsals to a minimum. Most people are busy, so don't call midweek rehearsals. Just pass out the scripts the week prior and meet an hour before you perform. Enjoying a potluck meal is a fun idea. <laughs> and you're going to end up with this armful of cans. And you hang on to these cans. During your rehearsal, practice your entrances, actions on stage, and exits. Put the scripts down and enjoy improvising together. Remember to always face the children and make your movements match the words you say. I am so glad you won. <laughs> Someday, I'm trying to do it this way. Someday I'll get my dollhouse. You know, my birthday's coming, and you're still, you're just like, oh, this is great, this is great. And then you even kind of pantomime the, the skateboard, you know, kind of redoing some of those things. <laughs> Sharpen your acting techniques. Use your body to communicate your character and the meaning of the lines. And you know what, up in heaven, the angels are going to be looking down at Zelda and saying, Poor Zelda! <laughs> your face is a billboard for your emotions. Use it. How many cans do you have? 30 cans. Fill your lines with feelings by using vocal expression. I love my grandma, don't get me wrong, my grandma is cool. But she's coming to live in our house. She's coming to live in my room. My room. My room. That is my room. Okay. And I have to share with my brother. Can you imagine anything worse? No. Rehearse interactive fun. Plan to deliver lines among the children. Talk to them and involve them in the action of the skit. You'll find many interactive suggestions in our scripts. I need 30 more. Can I have that one? Yeah, let me have that one. Here you go. Sweet, throw it there. All right, there's nice. Here we go. Can I have that can, please? Seriously, give me the can. Don't look at this. Pass it all down, just like this. I need all your cans. Okay. You guys have some cans back there? Can I have your cans? I need them. I'm collecting them. Okay. Interrupt the action with a freeze. At critical decision-making moments in the skit, draw the children into the action by ringing a bell that signals a freeze. The actors stand there like mannequins while the children discuss what they think should happen next. Seven, oh dear, I'm in big trouble. You know, Zelda, you have to decide what you want to do. Zelda has a problem, doesn't she? What is her problem? She's crazy. She, she what? She's crazy. She's crazy.
<laughs> well, yeah, we know that. But other than that, what's her problem? What does she have to decide to do? Yeah, she has to decide if she can. She wants to share or sacrifice her room for her grandma. I want you and your little groups to talk about what do you think Zelda should do for her grandma. Talk in her groups. What do you think she should do? Drama stirs the emotions. Kids will have opinions about what they think the character should do next. This is a time to teach them that every decision they make affects someone. Ask them. Who would it help? Or who would it hurt? Or what would God want? Let them talk about it. Here's a great idea to increase the power of the sermon. Chop up your sermon into small bites and present them during the freezes. There's nothing worse than kids missing the point of the sermon. Don't let it happen. These characters create real-life conflicts. Solve them by applying biblical truth. Kids are locked into the short bursts of the sermon during the freeze. This makes the sermon more memorable. Now, we're going to see if Zelda can sacrifice. If she does, who would it help? Who would it help? Come on, talk. If she sacrificed her grandma, would it hurt anyone? No. But if she didn't sacrifice, would it hurt someone? Yes. Who would it hurt? Her grandma. All right. Let's see what happens. So, you have a lot to think about. Oh, now, I sure do. It's hard. It's very hard. But you know what? This is the Christian life is not easy. Freezes focus the attention of the children on the process that a character goes through in making a godly decision. Wait a minute. This is huge. Okay, let's see if Tina does what you think she should do. Okay, but that's really hard. Yeah. Well, I'll think about it. Think I'll about what Jesus would want you to do. Okay, I'll try. Okay. Oh, but I can't. No, there's no way I can win. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. The game is so over. take children on an informal journey through the challenges of life, much like Jesus did when he taught in parables. Connect this techno generation to the ancient Bible truths that still direct their lives today. Reflect the current kid culture in the toys, fads, and clothing your characters wear. Become one of them like Jesus became one of us. <laughs> 